Hello and welcome to the Electric Highway. Now in these short videos, I'm going to describe how you use the Electric Highway charging network that's in motorway services all over the country. But before you start, there are a couple of things that you need to be able to access this service. The first one is of course the card. Now this is the Electric Highway card. You can apply for this online, you get it for free, they'll send it to your house and you use that card to access the chargers. The other thing you need to do is have a quick look at the map which is online and that tells you where the chargers are located, what sort of chargers they are and whether they're online or not. That's very useful. And thirdly, and probably most importantly, the thing you need is an electric car. This is the Renault Zoe. Now this car has a combination standard charge and AC rapid charge port fitted under the badge at the front of the car. AC charging is very simple. Simply pull up facing the charger or electricity pump, open the charging door and select the type of charge you want, in this case AC. Swipe your card on the reader and the system is ready to connect. Inserting an AC connector is very straightforward. You then press the tick button on the electricity pump and the car starts charging. Now other cars that can use AC charging are the BMW i8 seen here, the Tesla Model S, the Tesla Roadster, the Audi A3 e-tron, the Smart ED, the Mercedes B-Class e-cell, the Mercedes S500 PHEV, the Porsche Panamera PHEV, the Volvo V60 PHEV, the VW e-up, the VW e-golf and the VW Passat PHEV. But other than the Tesla and the Zoe, the other cars all charge at a slower rate. Electric car charging etiquette. It's really very basic and it's a whole new lot of manners and behaviour that we've got to learn. Now, number one, which is really pretty basic, is don't park a petrol or diesel car in an electric car charging bay. That's really not good etiquette. Number two, when you use an AC or CCS charger, the car locks the cable into position. This means no one can disconnect you, which also means you should remember to check when the car is charged. Disconnect and move your car so others can use the charger. Number three is if you can help someone who's having trouble plugging their car in and you're here, then do help them. Be generous. Show them how it's done. Explain how the system works. Number four is if you see that the charger has got damage, if it's been vandalised, if something's broken, then give Ecotricity a call. Their number's on the side here. They're open in normal office hours during the week and explain to them what's happened to the charger. Because even though they can tell what's going on with these chargers, they can't physically see it from their offices. So if you ring them and explain, then they can get an engineer out really quickly and get the thing fixed. And finally, let's try and be mature about this. Let's behave responsibly and set a good example. Now, occasionally there are issues with either the chargers or in particular with the cars and the fact that they need to talk to each other through quite complicated electronics and occasionally, not a lot, but occasionally it does go a bit wrong. So just be patient. Try and understand that this is developing technology. It's developing very rapidly. Even a couple of years ago, these weren't as reliable as they are now. They are improving, but it is a bit of a step-by-step -step struggle so we all need to help each other to make this system work because it is remarkable every month now ecotricity is supplying over a million miles of electricity for electric vehicles and soon it'll be tens of millions it's extraordinary what's happened in such a short time so let's stick together work together try and make it better